channel if you're new here welcome don't forget to subscribe like this video and comment down below and don't forget to also follow me on social media that's in the description box down below today i am doing my pregnancy update um hopefully my sound didn't get messed up because i actually just got a new mic um because my audio was very low um i record on my iphone so yeah i needed a mic because my audio would sound very low so hopefully this works out because this is my first time actually testing the mic out um but anyways i'll be doing my 28 through 30 week pregnancy update this will probably be very short just because i don't have very many changes um it's pretty much the same as my last update where i said you know i have the pelvic pains just like kind of different cravings um but for the most part i've been craving like the same things um every now and then they're like a little bit different but for the most part i just crave like ice cream i've been craving a lot of chocolate stuff like chocolate chip cookies like brownies um ice cream like i have cookies and cream ice cream um i've been craving burger <laughs> The pickles i don't crave those so much anymore which is weird um because in the beginning of my pregnancy i was craving them a lot and now i have like all these pickles because they bought me all these pickles and now they're just sitting there so maybe i'll just have to use them for a burger or something so they don't go to waste um i would say i'd be craving like mexican food a lot um if you live in california or san diego you know mexican food is everywhere out here so I always crave like the carne asada fries or like a California burrito. So that's usually what I get when I get Mexican food. Um, what else am I craving? That's pretty much it, honestly, from what I can think of. Junk, <laughs> pretty much. So I have to really make sure that I am balancing out the foods that I eat and what I'm drinking because, um, because of my blood pressure. Luckily, it's been normal. Um, they still have me on my blood pressure pill, so I do take that, um, I take one pill three times a day, so I have to cut it up, um, so I do, I think it's in here, in my desk, but I do have this pill cutter that I got on, um, Amazon, so if you guys need a pill cutter, you should go on Amazon, because this is really cheap on there, um, or probably the dollar store might have one, but, um, but yeah, it's kind of annoying, because I have to cut the pill up, and it's already such a tiny pill, um, that I'm just like, and can I just take it one time? But the doctor says that um, something about me taking it once, um, like it might be wearing off or something because my body's getting used to it. So she has me taking it one pill three times a day. <laughs> um, but my blood pressure has been pretty normal, which is great. Um, that That was like huge for me just because like, I had no idea that I had high blood pressure or, you know, elevated at least. Um, so, you know, I'm glad that now it's kind of regulated. Um, so no news on when they're going to take me off or if they're going to take me off the, um, the blood pressure pill, but that's that for now. Um, and then as far as the doctor's appointment, we are supposed to do an ultrasound, but I have to figure that out. <laughs> because like because of covid like all the regulations have changed and stuff so um as far as like visitors and everything just the way they have things in the hospitals and then also i tried to call for the ultrasound and nobody answered so it's been pretty annoying just with like the appointments and being like at the end of the pregnancy and stuff so we'll have to figure that out eventually <laughs> um and then as far as my pelvic pains i've actually it's weird but i've been getting used to them um i feel like i kind of know how my body is reacting to certain things now um so usually if i do like too much or i don't kind of like sit down like i'll get the pelvic pain so it's like i just have to make sure that i'm kind of sitting down or laying down or kind of like having it be a mixture because honestly if i lay down for too long or sit down for too long when i get up my legs they are like so like stiff now so i kind of try to like make it even just like my diet i just have to make things even um as far as sleeping that's been another thing um that's been rough some nights i get really good sleep some nights i don't honestly i don't even feel like it's that horrible 
but if I am like sleepy in the morning <laughs> or sleepy when I have to get up for work, that can be annoying because um, cause sometimes I feel like I toss and turn at night trying to get comfortable and then it's like I'm cranky in the morning because I didn't really get good sleep. But honestly, it's not too bad yet. Um, it can just hurt a little bit when I have to sleep on my side because like it'll hurt my back. I'm noticing when I sleep on my right side, um, it hurts more, but my left side for some reason is really good. And I don't know if that's because she, I noticed that she's always like mostly on my right side. So maybe that's why it's hurting, but it hurts my back a lot. Um, but as far as sleeping, I guess that's just kind of, it is what it is until I have the baby. I have no clue how big she is now, but she is definitely getting bigger. Um, she is moving a lot <laughs> the past week. She has been, it's just like every single week, ever since I've started to feel her move, she's, it's like more and more every week. Like some days it feels like she doesn't even sleep like over the weekend. Um, there was one day where she was just moving and moving and moving and moving and most of the time I notice it when she's not or when I am not up on my feet or when we don't go out and stuff when I'm just at home I notice that she is like moving a lot um, she's actually been moving a lot today too um, but I did take a nap so I'm pretty sure she was moving <laughs> a lot when I was sleeping um, but it's just cool because you can see it and I'll probably insert a clip here too because I actually finally caught her moving um, So I'll insert that here and then you guys can see The last thing I think I'm gonna talk about is my emotions because you guys know women get very emotional when they're pregnant um, and I definitely feel like I was very emotional with this pregnancy um, I've actually kind of felt more so a little bit more myself the past couple weeks I would say which is really good um, just been preparing myself mentally for postpartum <laughs> because I really don't know you know I feel like I can only hope for the best or not think too hard about how things are gonna go after she's here um, you know just mentally emotionally i don't know how my body's gonna react um, how i'm gonna look <laughs> honestly like um i with my son i was pretty much all stomach and with this baby i'm all stomach as well um baby's born november 12th and pretty much like the only weight that i see is different is like in my stomach <laughs> it just looks like i have a big like a there's a baby in there that's it like um so i'm really grateful for that um because before i was pregnant like i was pretty much really in shape i had just gotten back in shape actually and was working out and stuff so hopefully after the baby um or at least when they clear me i can start working out again and stuff um and hopefully things do go well when it comes to like the postpartum and just the way that i feel and stuff um but you know you just have to take care of yourself and just remember that you know sometimes you just need to stop and just not think so hard about things or you know just take a break from whatever is making you feel stressed um, but luckily I feel kind of normal today um, I feel like the only thing the only problem I've had is being tired and when I'm tired I get cranky so yeah that's pretty much it um hopefully this didn't seem all over the place because i actually did it off the top of my head i just wanted to make sure that i posted this video because it's already been like three three weeks yeah so because my last update was 27 weeks so i just wanted to make sure i got an update in for you guys um hopefully i can get to doing weekly updates but we shall see <laughs> um and hopefully i can also give you guys some more updates on my life and vlogging and stuff because you know i feel like for me i have to be very motivated to want to vlog and motivated to want to post and stuff um so that that's that's why i don't post all the time um even though i really do love doing youtube and connecting with other people um so i'm sorry if you guys like my channel and stuff because i know you guys comment and 
um, you know, you see that I probably post more on Instagram than I do on YouTube, but hopefully I can get to the point where I just feel like motivated to where I'm just like, you know, posting as much as I can or just posting more content. But I don't want to make this video too long because um, it was just supposed to be a quick update. If you guys have any questions, concerns, or anything like that, um, just comment down below and I'll answer. Um, I do answer like the comments and stuff even though I don't post a lot. And make sure you guys check out my business because we just opened a business. So that'll be in the description box down below and I'll also put it on the screen right here. So check that out please. Make sure you support us. And also um, it's on Instagram as well so you can follow the business Instagram. And so I was trying to make this video so short that I forgot to show you guys a belly shot. Um, I'm not going to measure because unfortunately Rocky the dog ate my um, measuring tape so I can only show you guys real quick. So this is my belly, what it looks like at 30 weeks. So honestly it's not even that big from what I think. Um, but yep, that's my belly. No new stretch marks at all yet. So hopefully we can keep it that way <laughs> even though even if I did get stretch marks or more stretch marks I wouldn't really have a problem with it <laughs> I already had them have them I've had them since I was like probably a teenager just because you know your body grows in other ways too so I've had them in other places besides my stomach and then I've had stretch marks on my stomach since I had my son so <laughs> I'm used to it but yeah that's pretty much it um I don't know where I'm gonna put this clip in because I just added it in after everything but um you know hopefully you guys like the video and I will see you guys in the next video